is um, there's a lot of stuff that we're talking about. And once I once I'm able to find out where they go in the cloud, I'm sure we're going to be able to use them for future, you know, training future people without us having to repeat all this stuff. But until I find out how to figure out how to where to find them and how to share them, then they're just going to sit in the cloud somewhere. But I'm going to record them. Um, so. Y'all, there is a lot of exciting things that are coming up this month and next month. So I'm going to tell you what I have been. Hey, Wanda, I am going to be telling you, I've been talking to a lot of, um, a lot of executives and a lot of leaders over the past few days. And let me tell you what they're doing. They're calling me saying, oh, my team is in, here it comes, you know, it's, Poor, poor, pitiful team. You know, we're not doing anything. Summer's here. Everybody's too busy. You know, it's the summer slump. If I've heard that one time, I've heard it 20 times. The summer slump. You know, things slow down in the summertime and nobody wants to buy a, nobody wants to buy a kit. You know, nobody's bull crap. People are going to the lake. People are going to the pool. People are putting on their bathing suits this summer and they're going, oh my God, let me find somebody. Right? I mean, that's what they're doing. So, you know what happens? It's not the people that are out there that we can service, it's us. We get too busy. We've got things we've got to do. We want to go to the lake. We want to go to the pool. We want to go on vacation. We want to do all these things so we forget to work our business like we did before because we're busy, not the people. It's, it has nothing to do with the people that are out there. Again, I'll tell you, in, in the state of Georgia, there's less than a thousand people that have bought these products out of 10.2 million people. You think we're running out of people? You think all those 10.1 uh, million people that haven't tried it yet are too busy? You think all 10.1 million people are do not need what we have? Bull. People slow down because summer's here and because there's other things. It's the priority list. So I'm going to tell you just like I tell you every single week. Do not go a day without working your business. You've got to be consistent. That is the key to this. It doesn't matter, again, if it's 15 minutes, if it's 30 minutes, if it's an hour, if it's two hours, if it's four hours a day, you be consistent. And the time that you commit to your business, you do your business. And you've got to do income generating activities. You can't just scroll through Facebook and, and look at your look at your Facebook and think that that's going to generate income for you and to think that that's going to generate leads for you. You've got to do the four things I tell you every time. You've got to expand your audience. You've always got to be expanding your audience, adding to your friends list every single day. Do not go a day without adding to your friends list. You've got to be putting them into the results page so they can see testimonies. They can see some, somebody other than you that they might connect with it may not be you that they connect with you've got to put them into the results page you've got to post you've got to post at least once a week and just keep it to once a week on the adventure page that's all you need to do on the adventure page because there's so many people posting but if you want to post twice a week I will keep them in reserve because I'm always needing fillers post on the adventure page biggest thing post on your own personal page Get outside your comfort zone. Do live videos. Get out from behind the safety net of a computer, of a keyboard. Put yourself out there. Brand yourself. You, you love these products. Tell somebody so they can see your excitement, you know, behind what you're saying. And then uh, follow up. You get the people into chats. You, you do those things. You know, you, you, you expand your audience. You put them in the results page. You post, uh, you make your post. They ask for information. How many people have you just sent information to, you know, just your initial chat and then just forget about them? Again, I'm going to tell you this too. 80% of people, it takes seven to 12 contacts before they say, okay, let's do this. So, and, and I can't remember the statistics, but I'm thinking it's probably 90% of the people do not follow up more than three times. 
is some this high. It's a high percentage. So if we've got 80% of people not, and this is not just Zingular. This is, I, I have a sales background. I mean, this is stuff that I've known with my other business too. 80% of people are not going to buy anything until the seventh or twelfth time they're contacted or they're told about it. And if 90% of the people don't follow up more than three times, that's where that's where you drop the ball. That's where we drop the ball. That's why you've got to follow up. That's so important. That the fortune is in the follow up. And uh, again, I just, I just, I mean, I can't even tell you. You got to think back to yourself when you first started seeing these products. How long did it take you? You can't expect somebody to say, "Okay, I, you know, you told me let's sign up." That it usually doesn't work that way. Now there are some exceptions, but it usually does not work that way. So you've got to keep your foot on the gas because what you're doing now, you may see two months from now. And it's just like, um, it's just like what happened to me last month. Um, in April, they had that promo for those stupid earbuds that I wanted so bad. <laughs> it was those wireless singular earbuds, you know, the wireless headsets. I wanted them so bad. All you have to do is sign up five people. I busted my tail. I was calling everybody. I was following up with everybody. You know how many people I signed up in April? I didn't get my headphones, but you know what happened last month? I signed up 13 people because all of those that I followed up with in April decided to finally do it, you know, and it happened in May, but it doesn't matter. I mean, I buy my own earbuds, you know, 13 people, you can buy your own, you know what I mean? But you just have to, you, you have to follow up. It is essential to your business. Keep some kind of organizational system. The only organ, I'm, I'm, I have organized chaos. That's what's in my life. It works for me. It does not work for everybody. Keep lists. I have it in, and y'all are going to think I'm crazy, but I have spiral notebooks. I buy them right before school starts. I, they're 10 cents a piece, and I probably buy 20 of them. And every, every month, that's what I do. I keep a spiral notebook. I put all my follow-ups in there. I put all of my new starts, what I need to do. And this is what my, this is what my notes books looks like. Seriously. This is what I do. Every, everything I do is in a note, is in some kind of notebook. I mean, I just write it down and I have it, but it's, Nobody else could understand it but me. But you've got to figure out your own system. You've got, to, you've got to figure out a way to keep up with the people that you're talking to so you can follow up because that's where you're going to see it. And you can't put, take your foot off the gas this month because August is going to suffer. You know, July is going to suffer. September is going to suffer because what you, what you do now is what you're going to see those months from now. So you got to think back, you know, this is June. So it'll be May, April. What, what did you do in March? What did you do in March? That's probably what you're going to see now. If you busted your tail in March, you're probably going to see that this month. So it's just, it's on a cycle and it's just, you just have to trust the system. You have to be consistent every single day. If you go on vacation, you still got to take, this is your own business. This is not like you work for somebody else and you can just take off and put your phone down. You've got people that depend on you. So if you go on vacation, you've got to take the time, put it aside. And even it's, like I said, even if it's only 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes at night, still work your business because you're the one, you're the one that's going to see, see the good or the bad come from what you do. Um, so that's what, um, that's what my theme is going to be right now. We're not going to have a summer slump. This team is going to have the summer slam, but bam. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Bria. Bria helped me come up with that. The summer slam. We do not want a summer slump. We want to keep going. This team is amazing. Y'all are like sign up fools right now. And I am so excited. But we, why would you want to have a summer slump? There's too many people that are looking for what we have. They are putting on bathing suits and they, they are like, oh, dear Lord in heaven, find me some help. And you need to be there to help them. Um, again, work on vacation. This is it. I love this. This is one thing that Bria said, too. Work while you're on vacation so that the rest of your life can be a vacation. Hello, look at me. I've been here since, uh, I bought a camper, by the way, and I've been at the lake since um, Thursday, and we've extended it already until next Thursday, but you know what? 
Kevin's going to work tomorrow. I'm going to be in here working, but I'm going to be at the lake working, you know? But, so work on your own vacation so that the rest of your life can be a vacation. Um, don't get too busy. And here's the thing too. What, whatever you tell yourself is, is truth. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. You know, I've said that before too. Get out of your own head. Everything is impossible until someone says it's not. So this is what I would challenge you to do. I would challenge you to make a commitment to sign up five people this month, no matter what. I don't care if you've got to go to the, in front of Walmart and every single person that goes in and say, hey, I got something you need. Whatever you have to do, step outside your comfort zone, commit to signing up five people, and I don't think that you're going to have to stand in front of Walmart. I think you're just going to have to maybe get go live on your Facebook page, maybe interview somebody, maybe do something you haven't done before, maybe add another 300 people to your Facebook page. You're going to have to do something different. Um, if you didn't sign up five people last month, do something different this month. Get outside your comfort zone and concentrate on your business. Um, do this. Make a commitment to help someone get their fast forward that you signed up already help them so that would be what i would challenge you to do and um we do have um oh well, gosh we got some, new, some more people hey nancy hey luann we have got um i think one hey kelly hey karen and destiny and i think i got everybody else um i think we've got one hey alta um she may have left no brenda's on here brenda is brand new she just started her eight day this week and um, Brenda, this may be a little bit over your head. We usually you know, stay to the basics, but um, it's, this is just, um, this is our leadership training. And we are very, very excited about helping people feel the same way that we do and losing weight and feeling amazing. And um, we would just encourage you uh, as somebody brand new and tell you that um, we, you shouldn't have to pay for your products because there's so many people who need what we have. But um, we will get with you on an individual basis and, and actually help you and walk you through it and tell you exactly what to do. It's so easy. Um, so who all, this is what I want you to, I don't know, Rhonda can probably tell you how to raise your hand because I don't have a clue how to raise your hand. If, if you know how to raise your hand, how many went and looked at your points? How many saw my live video on the leaders page and went and looked at your points before you got on here? Wanda, who else? Let's see, Debbie. Okay, I see hands up, but I don't know. Angie, Kendra. Okay, who else hands are up? Okay, okay. Tiffany, Vicky, Kathy, Wanda, Rhonda, and Kendra. Okay, the ones I said too. Okay, so I uh, said, so who else is hands up? Kelly's hands up. Okay, I'm okay. This is why I told you that. So I'm going to go over in your head. Remember where your goal was. What was your goal at the beginning of this month? Remember? Okay, got that? You got what your points are right now? As of today, if your goal was to be a manager, those points should be at 800 points. If your goal was to be a silver manager, you should be at 2,000 points. Gold manager, right now you should be at 4,000 points. Platinum manager, you should be at 6,000 points. Director, you should be at 8,000 points. Silver director, 12,000. Gold director, 16,000. And platinum director, 20,000 points. Where do you stand right now? Are you behind? Yep. Are you ahead? So whatever you have to do, you're not going to change your goal. You're just going to change what you're going to do to get there. So if, if you're not, if you're behind, step it up, do something else. Instead of adding five friends a day, add 10 friends a day. Make sure that you um, have added those people to the body. Hang on a second. Let me see if I can figure this out. There we go. Um, make sure you add people to the adventure page and then do something outside your comfort zone. Say five, four, three, two, one, and just go for it. And if anybody, um, I, I would challenge you to do Facebook live interviews with somebody on your personal page. 
Try it. Try something you haven't done before. Um, and we've already said happy birthday to Kathy. So here is something that um, I want to talk about really quick. When you add people to the adventure page, make sure you're selective. I cannot go behind you guys and make sure that you're adding like real people and make sure you're adding people that are in the United States and Canada and those other 10 countries that we service. Um, we do not, we cannot um, sell to Europe anymore. So if they're in Africa, we cannot sell to them. If they are in um, um, most of the Asian countries, I think all of the Asian countries, we cannot sell to them. If they're in Europe, we cannot sell to them. Australia, yes. New Zealand, yes. Um, Jamaica, yes. Um, Bahamas, yes. Barbados, yes. Trinidad and Tobago, United States and Canada. Anybody else though? Don't put them on that page because they're asking for information and we cannot give it give it to them. So please, 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 please look and just see what country they're in. And even if, if they're in like um, foreign countries like that, I would be selective about who you're putting on your page. So because most of that, most of them are, I mean, not real people. Be very careful with that. Um, and also if they have joined Facebook in the last 60 days, they're being declined. If they have joined Facebook in the last 60 days and have 4,900 friends, they're being declined because that's not possible. That's a second account. That is, um, and then um, most of the time, if they requested to add themselves, then they are being declined because most of those are scammers too. So um, there was one post that got through the adventure page. Y'all know how picky I am about that page and making sure that all the testimonies are real accurate. We had a lady that um, posted her before and after pictures on the adventure page. I approved it. It was my fault. It went through. I thought I recognized her name, but it was not our customer. Somebody added her to that page. She is an It Works distributor. So I'm hoping that she did not go through and add a bunch of people. She posted her before and after picture, and a lot of you have shared it. It is not a real, it's not a singular picture. So I put it on the leaders page. Make sure you take that off your page if you um, if you copied it and pasted it. Um, make sure you have your 120, um, 120 points this month for commissions, for top tier commissions. And okay. So here's my big announcement. Y'all ready? Ah, so excited. Okay. So over from now through probably the middle of July, you do not want to miss another Zoom meeting at all. Make sure you tell your team. I'm not going to tell you. I'll look through the next one, the, who I've got scheduled for, not this coming week, but for the next week. On the 19th, that is going to be a special Zoom, which is going to replace the Thursday, the 21st Zoom. And we have Lacey Friend going to be on our Zoom meeting um, to do our training. Um, I have got seven people going to be on Zooms. That she, Lacey is the first one that has confirmed a date. But I stepped outside my comfort zone. And I said five, four, three, two, one, and I messaged some big hitters, and I have got seven that said yes, and I'm still waiting on three more that to hopefully say yes. So all I'm telling you, do not miss another Zoom that we have from now till the middle of summer, and I'll be announcing who it is. But it does, y'all do not want to miss these. I'm just telling you, for real, y'all. I cannot wait. I am so excited about all of this. So that's what I got for tonight. The Summer Slam, ba bam. That's our theme right there. We are going to kill it this summer. Y'all keep your foot on the gas pedal. Don't let up because you've got to be consistent for real. Vicki, do you have your hand up that you wanted to say something? Is Bri illegal? She will be in like three days. <laughs> and I lost my pain medicine. I know. I was going to tell you 
were. And did Jennifer Lowry get signed on here? Welcome her tonight if she got signed on. She was asking as we were as we were on, so I hope she figured it out. I do not see Jennifer on here. Okay. She's trying, bless her heart. Okay. Oh, there's Jenny. She's on here. Oh good. Hey. I hope she can hear us. Okay. Good deal. Yep. So, yes, Bria will be legal and officially a part of our team this coming week. So, I'm very Yay! excited. And then, for those of you who did not, um, who were not on at the beginning, today is Kathy Davis's 60th birthday. So, thank you. Happy birthday to you. We love you and we're so thankful you're on our team. And um, anybody else got anything? Did she buy some boots? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh no, I ain't loaning them. She got to get her own. <laughs> I'm not buying them. I do have new hey, clothes. Hey, Jenny. Buddy. Happy birthday, Kathy. Thank yeah. you. Hey, Jenny. I hope she hears us. All right, anybody else got anything? All hearts Melissa. clear? Melissa. Yes. Share what you did with me the other night about Facebook jail. Because... I want to. I just want to make sure. You know, when we were talking about all the um, yes. friend requests that were not accepted yet. Yes. I don't want anybody to get put in jail. <laughs> it's not a fun place to be. I used to stay there all the time. So when you're adding your friends, if you have a thousand friends that have not accepted your friend request, that's when it starts getting um, Facebook starts getting all kinds of alerts. They will put you in jail for misuse of um, whatever it is. I don't know. I don't know how they do that. What you need to do is you need to click on the three lines at the bottom of your bottom left of your phone. Go scroll down to where it says friends. Scroll over and it will say um, requested. And then you need to clear all of those out at least once a week. Go in and clear all of them out. Then you can start all over. Um, but you that needs to stay cleared. For sure. Um, and another thing is when you're adding people to the adventure page, only add 50 at a time. And then wait about a half hour, then you can go in and add another 50. If you add, I think you can actually go up to 100, but 50 is a safe number. If you keep doing it, they're going to they're going to block you out too. You'll go to Facebook, Joel, you won't be able to add anybody to any page. So, been there, done that, y'all don't want to go. Listen to mama. I'm telling you, that's what gives you anxiety. Um, let's see. Anybody else got anything? Anybody? All right. Well, I hope y'all all have a good week. And I'm going to be here at the lake if anybody wants to come up and hang with me. Uh, tomorrow or Tuesday, I'll be here. And... Um, other than that, I'm praying for y'all. I love y'all. And make sure you work on yourself. Make sure you're a product of the product. And then go out and help somebody else this week. All right. I'll see y'all Thursday. And I'm here if y'all need anything. Bye.